So what we got here today is I got some pork loin, uh, got it at Winco here, a very inexpensive piece of meat. And I'm going to go ahead and put this on the Weber Smoky Mountains. So let's get this out of here. And I'm going to be cooking this on an 18 and a half inch Webby Smoker, Weber Smoky Mountain. It's going to be too big. So we're going to split this right down the middle. Let's see how close we got it. Not too bad. Not much to do here. Look over on this side. This stuff right here, I really don't need them. I'm going to take some of this off. Then I'm just going to add some Worcestershire sauce all up and down this side. Just, it don't look real pretty, but just wanted to remove some of that uh, skin uh, just so that uh, the flavor will get deeper in here. This is a loin meat. It ain't like you need whole lot of that on there. Get that all rubbed in there real good. You could use whatever you want. I'm using Worcestershire sauce. I've used mustard, olive oil, beer, whatever you want. Just you want to get this wet and then uh, as long as it's some unsweetened liquid you should be good. Apple juice, whatever. Then I'm just going to go ahead and add some seasoning on here. Now this is just my homemade seasoning. It's a little salt, a little pepper, a little garlic, got some paprika, some cumin. Use whatever you prefer. Coat it pretty good. These things don't have much flavor. You got to give them the flavor you want. Hello, Oki here. Welcome back to the Oki Smoking Channel. And as you saw, I prepped a nice pork loin that I got at Winco. And I've got the pit, I almost said pit barrel. The Weber Smoky Mountain heated up to about 270. Let's take a look. Yeah, we're uh, above 250. It's probably about 270 degrees. So I've got it all seasoned up. This shouldn't be a very long cook. I'm thinking two hours, uh, hour and a half, probably two hours um, at that temperature. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, close them bottom uh, vents off just a little bit to try to contain that heat so we don't go above 300. Let's go ahead and put it on. Then I'm going to add this meter plus probe and I'm going to go ahead and place it in here. It's a little Bluetooth uh, wireless sensor that actually has, it'll read the temperature in the grill as well as inside that meat. I have two, I could put one in that, but we'll just do one, be good enough. But I, I also created a pork loin video a long time ago, maybe a year, year and a half. It, I think a long time ago, and I cooked it on the pit barrel cooker. Uh, I think I cut it in half just like this if you wanna check that out. But I infused it with some apple juice and stuff. This one here, we didn't do no infusion. We're just gonna cook it to about 145 degrees. Should be an hour and 45 minutes or less, I think. And uh, when it's there, I'll check on it. And there it is, folks. It's uh, 145 plus. Uh, I use that one as a, as a general rule and then uh, go in and check them all. Uh, we're at 145. Look at there. Let's go one above 145 easily. 149 plus. So we are definitely done. And let's go ahead and take this inside, cut into it and see how it is. And here we go, the pork loin off the Weber Smoky Mountain. And it don't it just look, looks really, really good. Uh, let's cut into it and see. Now I did, I forgot to mention used hickory, but I didn't have very many, but I did use some hickory during this cook. Look at the juices. Oh yeah, that's a lot of juice too. Okay, there it is. Maybe a little miniature smoke ring for a two hour cook. You don't get much. Plus I didn't have a whole lot of smoke. Let me cut one more piece. Yeah. Let's just take a look here. A very, 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 you can see those juices. Yep, 
very very juicy there let me cut me a little piece here now let me cut you a piece here let's test it out got the oaky fan critic right here see what you think cheers Mm. Mm. really really good we're going to get some uh, sides some green beans some corn throw in a plate probably going to have some leftovers throughout the week this is a quite a bit